hi everyone to my Ascendable language tutorial now um, in my previous tutorial I have shown you that uh, wha what is Ascendable language and um, why we should be using this thing now I've, I have told that the language is not at all portable now you might be asking why we should use that type of language which is not at all portable the answer is quite simple is that it can take the best out of your you know platform or microprocessor so say um, you have a microprocessor 8085 you have written a program in it and it takes certain uh, uh, advantages from that microprocessor now on the other hand the code to do a microprocessor have different different design so your um, so its working policy should be different so your code or uh, won't be running on that microprocessor and that's why then there lies the domain of our of interest in assembly level language that it can talk directly to the hardware and as long as hardwares are different uh, so they can't be portable they have to be hardware dependent and finally I want to say that somebody have to do uh, work on the hardware level because whatever you call or whatever you do uh, finally you have to write the contents in the hard disk so that somebody is the assembly level language itself now you can have a taste of the assembly level language from the java virtual machine now you know java is platform independent uh, it is basically independent for the virtue of java virtual machine every platform uh, have its own implementation of the java virtual machine and it provides a uh, platform for the java programs to run so if you take a jvm of windows and you put it on the linux so it won't run at all it's not possible so what and the part of the jvm is implemented in assembly language and if you say compiler so c compiler itself is totally built on the assembly language so if you can make a better assembly language program you directly improve the performance of the language itself not of any algorithm not of any uh, specific purpose directly to the language so you can have a nice idea about what is going on in assembly um, so let's see how our system is uh, organized uh, for in case of assembly or how we'd be treating the system to write assembly programs now there is our CPU and we should be writing code for this thing and our aim should be to interacting with the main memory so remember memory means the RAM not the hard disk and other units those are connected to the system such as like keyboard display units your hard drive your USB device anything and everything now one very important concept here I want to tell you is that say if you want to store uh, some content of RAM to the hard disk so in organization of computer what happens is that data doesn't travel th directly to the hard drive the data of RAM travels first to the CPU then CPU sends data to the hard drive similarly when you load a program the program first loaded into the CPU and then the CPU loads the program into the RAM so no direct interconnection and that's why and that's the duty of the CPU or central processing unit that is your processor now it connects everything uh, together so that it can work and if you uh, program inside this you make a say efficient algorithm so it will directly impact on the performance so we'll be copying files okay uh, but uh, uh, but we can do it in the C program too then why in assembly the reason is that uh, we can have a much uh, improved uh, version of copy say uh, 2MB file copied in 5 seconds uh, it took in a system on the same system our assembly might take just uh, 1 second to copy it it is possible and that's why we study assembly level language so um, uh, here in the CPU one more thing I want to tell you 
is that in the CPU we'll get a thing called the register for manipulation. So we have instructions, we have data with them, and we have registers, and we will be working with these things only nothing at all so in my next movie I will just show you what the registers are and when we are done with the registers well, we would start coding so thanks for watching the video and if you have enough patience uh, uh, see the next one too for our theoretical foundation